Hey guys, it's Sarah back with another spinning video. Today I wanted to show you how I start my leaders on my support spindles. Um, some people in the spinning groups have um, said that they would like to see how I do it because, you know, seeing how other people do it is always a good idea when you're spinning. Um, plus, it's I always think it's really fascinating to watch other people spin because I do it one way and somebody else does it another way and you probably do it a different way. So um, I have my tripod rigged really weirdly. So there might be a little shaking with the camera today. I'm really sorry. Um, I will try my best to stay still. All right. So what I have here, I'm not even going to use my bowl because we're not going to do any real sort of spinning, but I do have a spindle from Silly Salmon Designs. Uh, Ken and Marilyn are the lovely people there and they do amazing work so if you have not had the opportunity to look at their spindles please do so um, this is not sponsored or anything just a, a happy customer and what I have here is some it's a I guess battling it's basically a little piece of a bat from Ingle Nook Fibers and what I've done it was all rolled up and beautiful in this little cocoon and I unrolled it and the ends were kind of chunky, not conducive to immediate support spinning. So what I did on the other end is I've kind of drafted it out. So I have, I don't know, a foot long little section of fiber that is drafted. So all I did was, you can see where it's really transparent right here and then really dense right here. So I just grab it and gently tug it a little bit so it slides, so it thins out really easily. It makes it super convenient for quick support spinning. So what I do to start my leaders is I take my fiber and just put my spindle in a hole. See, that's a little hole right there, and I just put it in. So we've got our spindle in the hole, and then we don't want it to go anywhere, so we're going to pinch right there. And we're going to hold the fiber so it actually twirls around the spindle shaft a few times. So you can see right here we've got a little bit of fiber built up. And then we're gonna flick it. Now, this does not always work, okay? It appears to be working this time, but it does not always work. Sometimes this little tuft of fiber wants to just rotate in place and not stick to the shaft at all. And what I do when that happens is I turn my spindle on its side, sort of, so it's pointing towards my fiber supply and keeping my fingers on that little bump of fiber, I manually insert twist into the leader. And you can probably hear the yarn flicking off of the tip. And that's what you want because you want to build up some twist so you can draft out your leader and we're going to do this a couple more times and then I don't know let's see how much we have here it's probably I don't know 18 inches you would take your spindle and push the fluff ball down your shaft so let's get this on here so I don't hurt my spindle. I'm on my fireplace. So now that it's down at the bottom, we're just going to spiral this straight up the shaft. And now we're back to the fiber supply. And from here, you can just spin like you normally would and draft fiber. And make yarn. It's beautiful. It's really easy. It takes a little bit of practice, 
But like everything with spinning, what doesn't take practice? Um, that's really about it. If your fiber has enough stick, you can just wrap it around the spindle shaft like this a couple times and get your draft going. So pull it out thin and give it some twist. And if it sticks, you don't even have to worry about doing the, the hand twisting. You can just allow the spindle to insert twist like it would after your leader is already created without having to do any sort of slow manipulation. I know this is really close up, but I wanted to give you guys a shot of my hands and what my hands were doing more than anything else because there are other videos for how to flick a spindle and things like that. So I just wanted to show you guys how to start it. If you guys have any questions, need to see a different angle, need to see a wider shot, want to see something completely different, um, please let me know either in the comments below or you can find me on Ravelry. I miss this flick there and you can just send me a private message and I'll be happy to chat with you or discuss future video possibilities. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye.